Okay. Been using the shape bag for a while and it's time to give you a user review. All right, so the bag is big and that's the good and the bad. So uh, I've been working with it for a while. I've been uh, doing quite a bit of production and just about everybody I work with goes, man, that bag is heavy. And so, you know, there's always a back and forth. I want everything in one bag, but when I try and put everything in one bag, it's freaking heavy. So um, I still like it, but uh, I'm gonna show you what I've got in here and then um, tell you if I, if I love it as much as I did when I bought it. All right, so uh, first off, I mean, um, okay, because I do put so much stuff in it, I've got my whole like 6K Pro camera in here, some lenses, all of my batteries and charger stuff. And again, that could go in another bag. So we'll talk about that. But because it is so heavy, uh, I did notice there's a pouch in the back for your uh, clap chart. And I noticed the last time I pulled it out, my clap chart's broken. I don't know if you can see that, but it's all cracked up. And I think it's because I had so much stuff in it when I was carrying it around. It's the part that goes against your body when you're schlepping it on your shoulder. And yeah, I got broke my clap chart. It still works, it's fine. But um, I have noticed that if you're gonna carry it around, you should have the zippers zipped, right? It, because it's got this wonderful little flap, right? I don't tend to zip it up as much, but you lose the support when you're carrying it around. So I'm gonna blame myself on that because I didn't do that before I carried it. Um, it's a lot to be schlepping around. I, I recently had a shoot where I was on the campus of Villanova and we were shooting shots of the, of the campus. And uh, I was schlepping this around and when the camera was in it, it was pretty heavy and a lot to walk around. So. I think one of my solutions is to just get, I'm gonna get like a small hand truck and I can stack it up. Um, the uh, the way that I've done it, well, here let me, I'll get some inside shots later, but I have, I love that I can put my whole camera rig in here as one deal. I also bought these little um, dividers. You can buy them in a kit or by themselves. And I love being able to put my lenses in there and give myself a little pocket. I used to put the monitor in here, but have changed that up a little bit. Usual bits and pieces in here. I do actually use these little, these little lights for inside the bag, which I really do like. And so it's spacious, it does a good job. What I have done is the pouch on the side. Basically I've, set it up so one side is power. And so I've got cords for my chargers and things like that in the little bag. And I've got my little tool here. This is a great little bag for tools. Um, and then I've got my bricks in here. And it will hold three, maybe four, depending on the bricks that you have. Um, and I do like that. But also, because it holds that many, it, Makes it pretty heavy. Um, the other side pouch, I have all my little Sharpies for my, or my erasers, or my um, clap chart. And then more charger cables, miscellaneous in here. So I guess first I would say, I know I'm overpacking this. I know I'm overpacking it. Um, But I like having everything with me, you know? I have enough batteries that I really don't need to charge on set, but I always want to be prepared and so I bring them anyways. And so it's a lot. The front pouch, oh, I have this little, this is, I used to have an old still camera fanny pack and it came with these little lens bags. So instead of putting a a water bottle in here, I've got a couple of smaller lenses in there. And I've also found that I needed to keep another lens here. So I've got like my, my 135 is here. I don't love having 
a lens on the outside, but I know it's there and I'm careful with it. I love this bag that came with it. I want a bunch more of these. I'm probably gonna buy more. This has my monitor in it and the battery for my monitor, the charger, and then I've got miscellaneous cables and stuff like that in here. So I really do dig that. But in a perfect world, I would also have my audio gear in here. But I have to have my audio gear in another case because even though this bag is enormous, I still can't seem to get all of my audio gear in here as well. Uh, so it's holding up really well. I have no complaints about the bag. It's solid, it's rigid, it does its job. Again, the broken clap chart, I'm gonna, jam I'm gonna blame on myself. Uh, the, this reminds me of the old Porter Brace bags that I referenced before. The one feature that I wish this had that the old Porter Brace had was right here, there were little O-rings. And I was able to do Velcro straps and lay a boom pole across it. So, and I used it more for an audio bag back in the day when I had the Porter Brace, because I had a big Porter Brace camera bag. And so I liked being able to strap my boom pole right here and it was all in one deal. And so part of me thinks I should just get a second bag and make that my audio bag. They would stack neatly on just a hand truck and then I could do whatever I wanted. I mean, I could, I could fit a mat box in here. I can't fit my camera with a mat box in it. So I guess the short version is it's so big that it's heavy, but I actually feel like I want another one. So I, I'd like to hear what you guys have to say. I know Cine Bags has a bag that's similar. Uh, Porter Brace still sells the ones that I rate this against. So I would like to hear what you guys think. What are you uh, putting your gear in? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Uh, I have to say, I love the shape bag. I love what they do. I love their rigs as well. And I think it's a solid, solid bag, but beware if you pack it full, it's pretty freaking heavy. So it's up to you, but for me, I'm glad I have it. And I actually think I might get another one. So there you have it. Old guy telling you what he thinks. Thanks for watching.